Digi Locker, the digital locker facility introduced by the Government of India. This is a new initiative of Government of India under the Digital India program of Honorable Prime Minister. This enables the citizen of India to save or store all their important personal documents in a digital locker. This presentation gives you a basic understanding about what this digi locker is all about, how to get an access to this digi locker, how to use this digi locker as a personal document storage for all your e documents. What is a digital locker? It is a digital locker which is a dedicated personal storage space where all the e documents can be stored online. This digi locker is linked to every resident's Aadhaar number and all our documents can be stored securely where this provides a platform for us to keep all our important documents online in one place at no cost with most secured features. This is how the model works. As a citizen, we have lots of important documents which includes all our personal documents like PAN card, passports, bank passbooks, water ID and many more. If you look at, there are lot of issuer departments. All these documents are issued to us by some issuer departments. For example, water ID card issue is issued by the election commission. And there are various other departments, those who will request for these documents for some purpose from the citizen. So every time citizen takes a photocopy of the document, he goes to a department and he submits that document as a proof for obtaining certain government services. So now the government's intent of making this digital locker will provide a facility for all the issuer departments to keep the digital document online in the digital locker of every citizen. So thereby it enables a requesting department to directly access the important document of a citizen. And citizen also has a facility to upload all his documents which he considered as his important documents in this digital locker. Thereby the citizens all important documents are kept online in this digital locker and for all documents issued by a issuer department a uniform resource identifier link will be attached towards each document thereby that link can be shared by the citizen to any of the requesting department so that specific document is made available to the requesting department. So the key benefits include now that the citizen can minimize use of all the physical documents so there is no need to photocopy there is no need to carry all physical documents since most of the documents are directly provided by the issuing department so the authenticity of the e documents become high so that now the security in terms of accessing government documents will be too high because it is directly from the issuer department to the receiving department and this reduces lot of administrative time in the department or within the department thereby it helps citizens to get services from the government much easily and much fastly. There are many documents that we feel as uh, important documents right from our education certificates, our passports, voter ID, our driving license, our PAN card or any other document which we feel is important can be stored here which can also include all our water bills, electricity bills, rent receipts etc. If we consider those are also important we can store all those documents online in the digital locker. Apart from these you, you may have something else which can be also stored here through the facility which is provided in the digital locker. So currently 10 MB space has been allocated by the government to every digital locker and more space is expected to be allocated in future based on the usage. Any document which a citizen uploads can be uploaded as any image file and those image file will be converted into PDF and it will be stored in the digital locker automatically. 
thereby a standard pdf format is followed by all requesting and issuing department in future so now the steps are two the first step is to create a user id that means you have to get a digital locker space for yourself then you can access your digital locker now let us see how we will create an user id an user in the digital locker space for which you have to visit www.digitallocker.gov.in www.digitallocker.gov.in so once you get into the website this is how your home page will look like the digi locker and you, you the key usage or the key application of this digital locker comes along with your aadhar card number so that's more important to access or to create a digital locker space for you you must have an aadhar number so if you have a aadhar number you get into this website www.digitallocker.gov.in and you can find a register now button here you can find a register now button here which you can see at the left corner an arrow mark shows where is that button so click on that register now that is the first step towards creating a user id so once you click there it will ask for your aadhar number as i told you aadhar number becomes primary information to open a digi digital space account so you click on register now you will you will be taken to this page where you will ask to enter the aadhar number you enter the aadhar number you can either use a otp which you will receive in your registered mobile number in case if you have not linked your mobile number with the aadhar number you can also use your fingerprint for which you will have to go to a center where there is a fingerprint scanning machine so both options are available but if you are if you are at home the only choice is to enter your aadhar number generate a otp the otp will be received in your registered mobile number the registered mobile number of what you have registered in aadhar so once you get the otp you will enter your otp there and you will click on validate otp that will take you to a page where you can create your username and password so this is the page where you will enter your username you can have a name of your own you can have either your name or you can have some code words that's up to you you can create a username with a password which you will be keeping it safely and securely because this will become your personal gateway to the digital space so that's how now that you have completed creation of a digital locker space the next step is to access your digital locker space so whatever steps we have followed so far is an one time activity for creating a digital locker space so the steps explained here after is to access your digital locker space where you will upload store and download your important personal documents any time anywhere so this is the process you should understand how to access your digital locker account on clicking sign in you you will you will be taken to this page where you will have to enter your username and password to get into your digital locker space so there is an option where you can also use the same aadhar number and otp to be generated and then log into your digital locker space and also there is an option where you can use your social media account which is linked with your username but we would suggest you can use the username and password you have just created for this purpose so you will enter your username and password and you will sign in to get into your digital locker account so once you log in this is how your personal digital locker dashboard will look like if you look at your digital locker dashboard there are there are it is divided into two portions one portion will contain all department issued documents another portion will con contain self uploaded documents first we will look at the self uploaded documents all document what you upload directly through this portal 
it 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 will go and it will be stored in the self uploaded documents if a department has uploaded a document with your aadhar number attached to it that document will automatically come and it will store under the department issued documents and if you look at the right corner of the self uploaded document there is a button there you will have to click to upload your self documents so you can see the menu bar there is my certification where you 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 will you will end up in this dashboard and you can get into my profile where you can change your your passwords etc and there are a lot of other options which you can explore but the key thing to understand your digital locker space has got two parts one is the department issue documents another one is self uploaded documents once you click on upload document it will take you to a pop up where you can select what document you want to upload and you can upload the file and you can also give a small description about the document and click on the upload button it will be uploaded so while clicking on the select document there are some of the documents which names are pre existing there for example voter id passport driver's license etc every document which is commonly used by indian citizen the name is already listed there you can click on that document and uh, that document can be uploaded in any of the image file formats and you will have to see maximum limit for one document will be 1 mb just to remind you in case the name of the document is not mentioned there you you could have seen an others field where you can click on the others so that you will be able to document uh, upload any other document which is not listed in that list so we'll assume that you have uploaded some of the documents and the government has uploaded one or two of your documents this is how your your dashboard will look like this is a sample dashboard after some time of usage so in this case this citizen has uploaded three documents he has uploaded uh, personally some my test document excellence award and award these are his own documents if you look at out of these three documents the first two documents he has also inculcated a e sign facility there it is e sign facility is also made available in this uh, digital locker and there is one document which is uploaded by some department uh, for this particular citizen it has been uploaded uh, by a department i believe this is a senior citizenship certificate and it is issued on a date 4 7 2015 and there is a link you can see there is a share button there once you click there you will get a link and that link can be shared with anybody specifically the uh, a department who where you want to provide this document you can just share that link by clicking on that link that department will get a most authentic document so that we need not provide any uh, hard copy or any photocopies of our documents so this is how the entire digital locker facility works number 1 this entire digital locker facility comes to every citizen at no cost and currently 10mb space is available so let's all go digital get your digital storage today and let's build a digital india thank you